This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. It's all it's all the same. It's the same start starting hourly here. Uh, so the very base drive time pay is thirty bucks an hour. You can earn up to three dollars an hour more uh, after your first quarter based off of your uh, your truck's production and your idle time. Now that'll fluctuate. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at liquid trucking out of Nebraska. Guys, this is a tanker trucking company where you will get paid by the hour. And today, we're going to be talking about liquid trucking out of Nebraska. If you never ever in your life pulled a tanker no problem they can help you discover the world of tanking by helping you and training you to pull tankers and earn over 5k okay so i'm in a sap group so my first question is pertaining to them do you guys accept SAP drivers, and do you help them with their return-to-duty status? No and no. Um, you, you, you've you got to drive for someone else. Now, so we'll accept someone in it, but they have to be a year into their SAP program. So they have to have a year driving with someone else. So yes-ish and no, <laughs> I guess. Um, it's And it's purely just our small insurance companies. So, yep. so yes to the fact that you can help them with their return to duty status. No, you can't bring them in because they just got into it, right? Correct. Correct. You have to spend a year of your random testings prior to us bringing oh, prior you. Prior to coming into you guys. Okay. Okay. So yep, you have correct. to already. Yep. You will already have to go through the return to duty status with yeah. someone else before coming over to you guys. Yes, sir. Very yep. good. Okay. So all together, how much experience you guys is looking for? Well, uh, you know, we are looking for at least you know, a year over. OTR experience. Um, <clears throat> we prefer more right now. We're we're definitely in a market to where we we can be pretty darn picky. Um, but that ebbs and flows in this industry. You know how it goes. But um, you know, but at least a year of o, of OTR experience is what we're looking for. Where's home for you? I'm out of Ohio. All right, that is definitely out of our hiring area. I know yeah, that. I um, I could see I I could see that's another that was my other question too. So I could see you guys is out of Nebraska. Yeah. Uh where where yeah. are your hiring areas and how would you get them up there for orientation? Yeah, so so as far east as we hire would be like the Quad Cities. Um you know, as far west would be Car would be Kearney, Nebraska. As far south as Joplin, Missouri. We're just south of Omaha, Nebraska, and so it's you know it's typically a 200 mile rate you know a radius around us is what we try to stay in. Okay. <clears throat> Hair follicles, or urine, or both for pre-employment drug screening. Uh urine. All right, and now do you guys require hazmat or no? Yes, yes. Now, uh, we help you get it, but you have to get it within your first 90 days. You have to have your fingerprints done prior to coming to orientation. Okay. Uh, mileage pay, is it pay by the mile or a percentage? It's per hour here. Per hour? Okay. Uh, yeah. So, so what's yeah. our starting pay for a driver that got, say, like 10 years of experience? It's all it's all the same. It's the same start starting hourly here. Uh, so the very base drive time pay is thirty bucks an hour. You can earn up to three dollars an hour more uh, after your first quarter, based off of your uh, your truck's production and your idle time. 
Now that'll fluctuate quarter to quarter just because of the weather, the idle time. You know, it, it it just varies on the weather. Now you're unloading, loading washouts, and then line up the washouts, and then line up the customer, getting a washout. You know, all that stuff. That's thirty bucks your first hour and twenty bucks an hour after that. Um, so, so it's important to note that that's based off your arrival and your departures, not a duty status on your ELD. So that's how you can have 82 hours on a paycheck when you're running a 70 hour log, if that makes sense. Okay. So basically yep. we're paid for everything inside the cab, <clears throat> not just driving but everything by the hour. We could just drive as many miles that we want considering that we get paid every hour, right? Correct, correct. So so, so the whole concept behind us doing that is so our drivers slow down and pay a little more attention to safety and the details and not feel like they've got to rush and be a little more risky um, in traffic and thing, things like that because you're getting paid hourly. You, you don't need to push it to feed your family. So. All right. Uh, just a few more questions, and thank you very much for your time, sir. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Let me see. The training aspect, so for people that don't have tanker experience, you guys will uh, train them. Is that now or is that later? Like, I understand you said earlier that you guys could be picky on who you guys could bring in now, but... Is that like later down the line, or you guys would take somebody that don't have tanker experience? What's what's your situation at as far as that goes? Yeah, so we'll so we'll train you uh, to uh, tank here. So you know, again, we're picking out. So if someone applies and they have tanker experience over someone that doesn't, um. You know, then then we're we're going to pre prefer that, but in 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 a traditional world, uh, that's not really the case. Uh, when business is busy, we have to bring on guys that have never touched a tank before, and we have an indoor tanker train tra- a training facility here and everything like that. Uh, the trucks, what are uh, the equipment and what are they governing that? Yeah, so we got Volvos and Freightliners. Uh, we run on a five-year cycle on those, um, and they're governed at 65 and 70 on cruise. Cameras inside the trucks? <clears throat> Only outward facing. All right. Uh, benefits and when do they start? Got health insurance, dental, vision, company matching, 401k. We pay for your life insurance and short-term disability. Um, And that, uh, those, uh, so the easiest way to put it, if you start in the month of January, March 1st is when uh, they'd be active. If you start at the end of January, it's still March 1st. So if you start in February, it'll be April 1st. Sign on bonus so thirty I, to sixty days. I I didn't see. <laughs> nope, I, nope. I, yeah, I didn't see. I didn't see that on your. There is not. Promotion. I mean, there is training pay, and that's fifteen hundred a week. Well, thank you very much. Uh, liquid trucking out of Nebraska, everybody. I love cars. I love calls like these, simple, straight to the point, and a, just a good conversation all the way around. Uh, Liquid Trucking, they offer hourly pay and flexible home time, so you will be able to get home probably on a daily, being that they pay by the hour, and you can you can probably get home. The starting pay across the board, of course, is thirty dollars, and. If you're interested and if you stay in one of their hiring areas, you banking account would thank you for coming uh for coming aboard. All right. 
If you guys are interested in liquid trucking, the information will be in the description below. Drivers, you drive or are driven for liquid trucking. Let us know of your experience with the company. Is it a good experience, bad experience? Let us know in the comments below. Drivers, get your next suggestion for the MTC review. You can do that by the Gmail. That's Lockout Men Podcast Guest at gmail.com. Or you can leave it in the comments as usual. And if you like to support the calls, you can do that by the Cash App, dollar sign Lockout Men. You can let us know who you want us to review in the notes, and you will get a shout out for that call. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Who's next?